But in competitive play, people have always been like, eh, I don't know, it's, it's Quinn though. But Vulcan and FlyQuest are still ready to go in. First blood over to Vulcan, and FlyQuest is on the board. This is something that FlyQuest have desperately needed since they've come back in summer, is success on this bottom lane. They brought in Vulcan, this big powerhouse. But it's a no flash for Nekton. Centaurin's the target now. Impact stuns him up, and FlyQuest gonna grab kill number two. Nice chase down kill for FlyQuest. What else can they get in the aftermath? But in mid lane, Jensen going for some burst onto Vikla. Remember, Vikla already got rid of the flash from Jensen last time around. So with Vulcan and Speaker rotating up, it's an easy kill for the Fly Quest mid laner. A 3 0 game now for Fly. Yeah, it's a rich will indeed. Oh, wow. Santorin going in from a dive here, but I don't know about this one. He's going to tank a ton of damage. Santorin, what was that? He gets impact, the ticket right back into the game. Is that Rich has got to be careful now. He might die too. That was terrible. Iman's ready for a follow up, but with Vikla reinforcing FlyQuest lines, Dignitas got to make sure they don't overextend too much. Santorin is back alive. He rejoins the team down here too, but remember, he has no ulti. Nice moves from Vikla there. Three out of the five kills for FlyQuest are on that Azir in the mid lane. Vikla having a big bounce back this game. He's truly been lacking for FlyQuest so far in summer, but this is his game to carry. How Kraken Slayer works now with reapplication for the Herald summon up in mid. Diamond might just die. He goes in for the Magnet Storm, but he crashes down on nothing with a TP ready to bring in reinforcements. Prince finally gets a kill, and FlyQuest is feeling good. That's perfect for FlyQuest. They want the straight up fight, and Shelly's going to lead the charge into turret number two. They can keep up the pressure here. They're gonna keep looking for more. Rich, he popped the cleanse, but the dredge line's ready to follow. Rich wants to fire back a little bit further now, and Vulcan's gonna die. So is Impact, so is Prince. Oh. Dignitas going in, but Centaurin won't be able to get any more. The Sun Disc keeps him protected as Tomo's ready for the chase. He's got red, he's got purple, he's gonna mow him down. Double kill back over to Aphelios, and the completed ace. You only take damage if somebody's alive to deal damage to you. Tomo's gonna get engaged on here by Vulcan. Ooh. Diamond dives in, but he's all alone. That's the second time this game these rel engages have not been coordinated and diamond just dropped dead blasted back into the pit but a beautiful ulti to get himself back to safety and kill vic law off in return <laughs> FlyQuest is in trouble now vulcan's gonna be picked up next they already killed azir and there's problems for FlyQuest. rich is gonna 1v1 impact as prince comes in to try to help him rich in a 1v2 he can't quite find it prince and impact stay alive but the goes over to Dignitas. I gave Santorin a hard time for the bad ult earlier, but that one was perfect. He's thrown into the pit. He ults right back out. He smacks Victor in the mouth, and they win the fight. That was one of the funniest. Especially yeah. losing the Baron on a champion that always wants to be alone. Impact went in. Now Diamond's gonna Magnet Storm on a couple of valuable targets. They kill Prince, they kill Impact, and they're going even further. Tier 2 turret's about to die. Vic Lepop the Stasis trying to keep himself alive. He'll at least take Diamond with them, but Dignitas have already killed three. A double kill back over to Rich, redeeming himself for the pick in mid lane, as Dignitas might just end the game right here. Yeah, they've got Baron, and they're marching towards those Nexus turrets. Here we go, Vulcan and Spica. Not a lot of damage to speak of between them as Dignitas continues going forward. They'll find Vulcan first. One Nexus turret's already gone. Spica's planting some grass, but it's only flowers for his tomb. The Nexus turrets fall, and Dignitas goes up to three and three, taking down FlyQuest in 25 minutes. Dignitas.